Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I wanted to show you these beautiful new colors in the summer sequence set. I unfortunately am not able to paint today, but I wanted to show you the colors at least. And I often get asked how to mix up pigments from primary elements or from color art. And I do have a mixing video for that, but we will mix one up together. And that way you can at least see it in a shorter version if you would like. But I will also list my mixing videos below. I also have a mixture of pouring mediums a couple videos back. I showed you how I would mix polypour with um, golden gel gloss and how I would mix Vivint enamel with golden gel gloss and some Joe Sonia gloss varnish. And so I have a few different things mixed up. And then I have my regular uh, Sherwin-Williams Infinity Gold. Mix three parts of that to one part Josonia with a little bit of gel gloss. So I'm going to use what I already have mixed up. And that may mean that we do um, a little bit of each of these. My polypour mixture is a little bit thicker because I didn't water it down at all, but this is probably a good consistency for me. My Vivid Enamel is a little bit, my Vivid Enamel mixture is a little bit, a little bit thinner than what I do, but it's pretty close, so I'm not really worried about that difference. And then here is my Infinity, which is kind of in between those two. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to use up is my Infinity because I need to mix more. Um, but I'm going to show you two different ways you can mix up these pigments. Some people prefer to wet down their pigments first with some Joe Sonia gloss varnish or polycrylic or something like that to wet them first. Um, I typically don't do that because if you're using something that's clear, it's going to dry clear. So even if your mixture looks a little bit cloudy at first, because if your pouring medium, if your pouring medium dries clear, your pigments are going to look great. So as long as they disperse properly, they're going to be fine and easy to work with. First of all, I'd like to show you the colors. I haven't mixed them up, so I figured we'd mix up a couple together, and then I may just speed up the rest of the process for you. So this set is a primary element set, which means it's semi-transparent, translucent which is great because you can use it, you can layer these colors with other colors and they're gonna pick up the color around them. And so they're so much fun to use. I'm gonna use these little condiment cups to mix them. And this set comes with a bonus color and it's a mystery color. So there's one of four that you can receive. They're completely random and they come with your little spoons in this cute little bag. So let's see what mystery color I got. My mystery color is from the Bling It set, from the Glass Wing set, and it's rain. And it's actually one of my favorite colors. I have it mixed up. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's a smoky pearl with a green interference shift. So it's so beautiful, so very beautiful. So that's fun. Who doesn't love a free mystery color? I use um, this with three other colors in my beetle back blooms, which are so much fun. Okay, let me make sure I have enough cups. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So there's 12 other colors. I have already seen some of what they look like and they're beautiful. Tammy Anderson did a great video and showed them to us. And I already know I have some favorites. Like who doesn't always have favorites? So you can mix your pigments one of two ways. Ah, at least that's what I do. Sorry, my light is making my phone heavy. You can either put a little bit of your pouring medium in your cup maybe about a third of what you're gonna use. And then for a cup this size, you probably need 
a scoop, a scooper full, which is what these wonderful cute little shovel spoons are for. And they're great because you can wipe them off and reuse them. I clean them and use them forever. And don't forget you can save 20% off of this set and anything from the Color Art website using Mandy1120, which is listed in the description box below. This set also comes with an 8 ounce polypore and an 8 ounce Vivid Enamel. So if you prefer one or the other or like using both, now you get both of them. And um, if you're curious what the difference is, I did a video on that and I will link it below. That's when I mixed up these two other small batches of polypore and Vivid Enamel. So I do have a video where I explain that as simple and easy as possible. So let's see, the first one we're going to mix up here, let's mix up Fantasia. Ooh. So I'm standing on a stool so I can make sure that my autofocus doesn't act crazy. So if you hear me like super loud, that's why I'm like right here. So I'm going to open this up kind of carefully because it's very fine particles and I don't want this color to go everywhere. Oh wow, this is a beautiful color. So this is what it looks like pre-mixed. So now I'm gonna take this little scooper and move this out of the way because I can already see me messing this up. And I'm gonna get a spoonful, kind of a level spoonful. It doesn't really take a lot. It may be a little too much, but trying not to spill so and then I'm just gonna put this in here and I'm gonna stir it up really well I prefer to put the pouring medium a little bit in first and then the pigments versus putting the pigments in the bottom of your cup where they're going to be difficult to break up because they get in the little crevices and stuff so this is what I prefer this is how I mix this is not the only way to mix so then we're just gonna stir up that magic right there It is a beautiful color and the camera light will not do it justice I promise so this is really beautiful so you just want to make sure it's good and stirred up once it's good and stirred up you can basically top it off with a little bit more of your pouring medium stir it in really well and voila look at that Depending on how long this is, I may just mix them all with you guys, but I have a feeling it's going to be kind of long, so I may speed it up. So I'll come back to some of these and fill them up to the top, but all we're doing after that is just filling it up. And then I just write the color on the top of the lid, and off we go. So that's one way. This is typically the way that I mix mine. And I don't I don't foresee that I've had any issues with pigments not mixing well. But that's me. Okay. So I'm just going to mark this so I know which one is which. Fantasia. And I'll move it to the side and I'll clean up a little bit later. But another thing that I do for later so that I know what this color looks like is I take a little dot because sometimes the powder form is very different than the mixed up color. Oops, that's not a very little dot. But I put a little dot on top of my jar just like that. So when it's dry, if I'm picking colors one day and I'm like looking for a specific color, it helps me pick one quickly without trying to remember exactly what it looks like. So that's my tip to you. So let's set that one aside. Another thing that you can do is you can put a little bit of your gloss varnish in 
your cup first. And when I say a little, I mean just enough to wet your pigment because you're, you're gonna be thinning down your mixture and you don't really wanna do that. Um, so I'm gonna put, let's do willow blue. And I may still have to add a little bit to that. Okay, I moved Fantasia. I'm trying very hard not to spill all of these colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now I can tell you I don't have enough Josonia in there. So all I'm doing here is wetting this, which basically means you're just wetting the initial pigment until you can kind of get it moistened nicely. And then once it's nice and moist, you're gonna fold it into your mixture. A lot of people really prefer to do this to make sure that their pigments break down very well. So I'm certainly not knocking it. I just, um, Joe Sonia is not cheap, so I don't, I don't do it if it's not necessary. But you do get a preview of how vibrant the color is. So what did I say this one was? This is Willow Blue. This color is gorgeous. So it's mixed up, so we can do that. But see, now you have the potential for the pigment to get in these little crevices, so that's one of the reasons why I personally don't always do this, but I, you can see how vibrant the pigments are when you wet them first, so that's why some people prefer to do that. So I'm not knocking it, I can see the value in it. Um, I just generally haven't done that in the past. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my pouring medium in there now and stir it up. Mix it up really well. So those are two of the primary ways you can mix your primary elements. It's really a personal preference, a personal choice. Um, everybody's different, everybody likes to do different things. That's really a very beautiful color. So you can see it was obviously a lot more concentrated when we had the Josonia in there. So you know how concentrated it can be. But then it's really a very soft and beautiful blue. So, this kind of reminds me of like a little bit of a deeper version of like an Australian blue sky type blue, which is one of my favorite blues that Matisse has. So this would look really pretty in a pour with that color, I think. Look at that. It's so pretty. Stupid autofocus. I'm sorry. So, that is willow blue. Okay. So that's a couple of different ways you can mix them up. And same thing as before, I'm gonna put a little dot on the top of this guy. Oops, maybe more than a dot. So that I can see what it looks like after it dries. All right, I'm gonna set these aside. And then I'm gonna speed up the rest of the process. And whoa, show you the finished colors because I'm sure you don't wanna just watch me mix paint all day. I'll be back. All right, so this color right here is one of my favorites in the set. This is called Arabian Sea. And you could even darken it a little if you wanted to, but I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Beautiful. This color is called Flamingo Feather, and it's a beautiful, like, corally peach. It is gorgeous. One of my other favorites in this set. So, very beautiful. Sorry about the autofocus. It makes me so mad. So very beautiful. This one is called Evergreen. All right, so this color right here is so beautiful. It's called Poison Ivy. And you can see how absolutely beautiful it is. Super beautiful. The next one 
is called Purplicious. It's just got such a beautiful tone to it. My autofocus is driving me crazy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we have just a couple more. Let's see. The next one is called Pink Orchid. It's another favorite. My dogs are going outside. Sorry about the noise. I'm just trying to watch this autofocus because it likes to act up. So Pink Orchid. It's a beautiful pink with a little bit of a blue shift. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then, this is another one of my favorites from this set. This is called Butterfly Wing. It's so beautiful. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. I really hate this autofocus, y'all. I'm so sorry. It's because I'm too close to the camera. Okay. And Marmalade next up. I've already started putting some of these colors together in my head for blooms and negative space swipes and all that jazz. That color is gorgeous. Look at that. And then we have Hot Tamale. Look at that looks just like it sounds. Look at that beautiful color. It's such a rich like orangey red. I love it. And last but certainly not least is another one of my favorites. I say that about probably all of them. This one is called Chambord. It is so beautiful. So I'm already picturing this color and marmalade and I'm not sure what other colors yet in a negative space swipe. I think that would be really pretty. But yeah, I hope this preview was helpful for you guys as well as the tips about how, how you would mix your pigments. Again, I get that question a lot. So don't forget to save 20% on your order of this set as well as anything else from the Color Art website using Mandy1120. And my mixing videos are below. Um, I will include my regular bloom mixing video as well as the video where I discuss the difference between polypore and vivid enamel, if that's helpful for anyone. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see what you guys do with these colors. And hopefully our next video will be a pour using at least a few of these colors. Thank you again for all your support. Have a great day. Bye.